in theory. Um, by a show of hands, who knows who Santa Claus is? Everybody, right? Everybody knows who it is. But who knows or who knew that he had an evil brother, evil twin brother? Those who have heard, kind of, right? Well, you're probably wondering who this person is up here. His name is Krumpus. Basically, Krumpus was a guy who, before Christmas time, would come around and torment kids in Europe if they were bad. And as the legend says, it would, um, he would grab them and drag them down to hell for being bad. Now, we all know that didn't happen, but the parents would um, use that to like, motivate their kids to behave and everything like that. And I learned about this when I was stationed in Germany and I was actually visiting Austria and I saw this big old parade happening down the street and I was like, what the heck is going on here? These freaking people with horns and bags and everything else and even kids were inside the bags like pretending they were being taken and stuff like that and I was like, what is going on here? And then I asked the local who was right there and he kind of broke it down exactly what it was and I thought it was actually kind of neat. I was like, well, so you guys celebrate this all the time. Um, and it even started coming over here to the United States, and I'm gonna talk about that here in a little bit. But um, what I wanna talk to you about about him is basically who he is, his appearance, because it does vary from person to person, but there's a general timeline, and then how it's actually come over here to the United States, and what we're doing with it, and actually some local cities and things here in Portland that actually happens every year. Um, so, Krumpus, basically the word Krumpin means claws. As you can see by like Hyatt's hands, he has like claws. Krumpin means claws. And they kind of just threw that together and said, okay, your name's Krumpus. And that's all I really found about that. There wasn't really any direct origin. It kind of just popped up and it was like back to pre-Christian times. In Austria is where it originally originated, but there was no pinpoint on how it actually happened. Um, through um, tales and like stories, it said that uh, in Austria, in the old, old, old school towns, the, it's a way for grown adults, men, to get drunk, dress up as Krampus, and roam the streets in the middle of the night scaring kids. That's basically how, how it started. And a little tradition that went behind it was is every house would put like a shoe or a boot outside of their door. Now, two things will happen with this boot or this shoe. You're either going to get a rod in your boot or shoe, which means you were bad and Krampus is going to look for you, or you will get a reward. So the kids would anxiously be always be looking and they would see Krumpus like doing his little walk like this, just roaming the streets, kind of just doing this and making all types of ruckus with his chains and everything else. And if a kid's outside at that time, he starts chasing the kid. And mind you, he's drunk, so he looks like he's staggering everywhere. So it just adds more to the scare factor, right? So as that started happening going on, it just started to evolve. And they actually have now something called a Krumpus loft which means a Krumpus run. Now, they don't necessarily run per se, but it's, they basically kind of march. So it's kind of like a parade. So like when you see the Christmas parade on TV and stuff like that, like the celebration, they do the same thing in Austria. It's just not on TV. They all dress up in a different, various appearances and stuff, and they would uh, put Krumpus in the way they, they see the way he is. Kind of like this. That, that's one of the, one of the things that they, they do there. They, they push this image out so that way kids can behave. Now, his general appearance is brown or black with horns, um, carrying a large sack or a backpack or a cage on his back, you know, and claws and long, crazy teeth. Um, that, that's kind of the appearance that he, uh, general. Now, as it goes on and you see the parades and stuff, you'll see him looking different with clothes. He'll have uh, like chains, like shackles around his wrist, or he'll have them on his feet, or he's dragging chains. And yeah, it just, to add to the scare factor, and it's really creative when you see the uh, images that they put out for, for Krumpus. Now, the different countries that Krumpus goes and kind of started in was in Austria, Hungary, Slovenia, and the Czech Republic. I got to see him in Austria and in the Czech Republic. And let me tell you, in the Czech, they get really dark over there. Like, I'm talking Krumpus, like, you might turn the other way if you see him coming in a parade. Because he just looks way scarier down there in the Czech Republic. Um, but in, now, talking about in the United States. This started happening pretty big in the United States. Um, the Smithsonian Magazine and the National Geographic actually made point of this, too, in another um, popular WordPress article called Welcome to Munich. It started projecting that it's becoming mainstream in the United States. In Philadelphia, they actually have a run where people actually dress up and they try to run. They do this every year in Philadelphia. I didn't know that. 
and in Bloomington, Indiana, they actually have a march. It's like a small little town, and they walk the streets, and then they, they dictate one adult to roam the streets at nighttime. So they really went back to the tradition there, too. So you got this one adult, already drunk, doing exactly what Krampus does, pestering kids and trying to catch them and stuff like that with his back. And then in 2011, they actually had a Krampus ball in Chicago. Like actual dress up as Krampus and go dance. I don't know how that works because you don't know who you're looking at. You could be dancing with a guy for all you know, or a girl and a girl, who knows. But you're over there and you're having fun and you're dancing. Um, so in conclusion, talking about Krampus and everything, I hope you guys learned about some stuff about Krampus. And here's another image, oh, here's another image of Krampus. That's actually Halloween costume that you can buy here in the United States. Um, so, you see you got the little feet, but to wrap everything up, talking about Krampus, who he is, what he looks like, and how he's coming into the US, and I mentioned Portland. If you Google, haunt, what's, hold on, if you Google Krampus Haunted Christmas, it'll bring you up on the first link, and every year Portland does a haunted house with a Krampus theme. Every year, you can go right now, it's December 14th and 15th, and you can go get tickets, and they have a little trailer video, and let me tell you, I don't scare easy with that one, kind of made me push my laptop back a little bit. I was like, whoa. So, if you're really interested, Go ahead and check that out and go see some actual ancient European tradition here in the United States. That's my presentation. Thank you very much.